Hello and welcome to part 10 of this tutorial series. In this part we are going to discuss cron trigger. If there was anything that you couldn't do with previous schedulers, then you can use a cron trigger. Cron trigger allows for schedule that recurs based on a calendar-like notion rather than an interval. Cron triggers use cron expressions. If you are not familiar with cron expressions, I suggest first you get familiar with them before you can use them. They allow for great functionality and flexibility, but they are somewhat harder to configure. A cron expression is made out of seven parts. Seconds, minutes, hours, day of the month, month, day of the week, and the year. The year is an optional field. Here is an expression which triggers daily at 12 am. Quartz.net luckily offers a cron schedule builder that you can use to build a cron scheduler easier. The cron schedule builder has four methods which you can use to build a cron schedule without having to write an expression. If these four methods do not meet your needs, then you have to use cron expressions directly. There are tools which can help you build your cron expressions. One of them is cronmaker.com, which you can use and build the cron expression and test it before you can use it inside your application. Now, let's see how those translate into code. To use a cron expression, all we have to do is call the method with cron schedule. Let's head out to cronmaker.com and build a simple expression. Let's build an expression which runs every one minute. Click generate and the cron expression is down here. And run the application. Fast forward 2 minutes we see that the job gets executed twice. To use the cron schedule builder we need to use the method with schedule and use the cron schedule builder that the specific method we need to build the schedule on. For example using the cron schedule builder we build the schedule that runs daily at 10 am. That's all on using cron trigger. It's a really powerful scheduling tool. The only limitation is your understanding of the expressions which you can use to build any type of schedule you need.